Well, good morning. I'm getting a much later start to the canyon walk run than yesterday, but I had to get my kids um, set up for the doing Google Hangouts for their seminary class. Um, so we had to get that functioning well before I could leave. And it's okay because now it's light and I can see well. It's cold today and windy, so I really don't actually feel like doing this, but I kind of promised myself that this would be my training for my 5K, because this route is an exact 5K, it's 3.1 miles. Um, there's no way I can run this whole thing. First of all, it's really hilly. Um, I, I'm not even sure in my entire life I ran this whole thing once, maybe, but I don't think so, because it's, uh, there are some really steep hills, and I'm not a very good uphill runner. I'm more of a downhill runner. This is my Sole and Potassium water. Um, I did want to say before I got started that, um, yesterday was a really good day, we were able to do the viewing with Tim's grandma and his sister and brother, uh, her husband, Tim's brother-in-law, my brother-in-law, um, and then Tim and myself. And he, his dad looks so good. It was kind of weird, actually, because um, they didn't put any makeup on him or anything because he's being cremated. Um, but he looked like himself. It was so interesting. I've been to a several, I've been to two funerals this year for family members already, and um, it was hard to see them. They didn't look like themselves to me. And his dad, duh, he did. I, in fact, it was. I kept thinking, this is a joke. He's gonna like wake up any second. Obviously. It's not a joke, and he is, has passed. But it, it was nice to see him looking well after these last few months. He hasn't looked so well. Um, I guess I'll start walking again. Um, I don't know. It was good. It was really good. So I'm so grateful we had that opportunity. And then we spent the rest of the day with his family. Um, with, and we had dinner and stuff. It was just really good. And we just kind of talked about his dad and reminisced, you know, how you do that. Uh, <clears throat> well, I want to be totally focused when I'm on this, so I think I will just finish talking because there's actually traffic on this. There's a neighborhood up here, so... I don't want to get in the way of people's cars. Um, so it was really good. So the funeral is not going to be until next Saturday. So that some other family members can come in and some friends. Um, so Tim is probably going home Sunday. As is our son Ryland. Sorry, I'm going to take these off. They're really annoying. They're like scraping into my neck. Um, so the kids and I are going to stay here. This was like our plan already that we, we would have gone up to Idaho and then today would be the day we would come down to Utah. So this part was kind of part of our plan. The funeral part wasn't. Um, we actually thought we'd be seeing his dad this week and visiting with him. But, um, so the kids and I are going to stay here. My mom's family is having a reunion tomorrow. So we'll still get to do that. And just spend time with both sides of the family. So that's good. Um, but Tim can't stay this long. He has to work. Being self-employed is pretty tricky because, here, I'll let you look at the mountains. Oh, maybe you can't see them. 
um, because, uh, um, you know, if you're not working, you're not making money. <laughs> so, plain and simple. And his business is pretty, um, uh, it's just not, um, he doesn't make a lot of money. That's just a good way to say it. So, if he's not working, we're not making money. So, he's got to go home. Uh, let's see. I thought I think my food was pretty good for yesterday. Um, I haven't felt tempted to eat things I shouldn't, which is a, a blessing. I think seeing what diabetes has done to I have a lot of family in my on my side of family who have diabetes, so I've seen what it has done to them. And the the main reason this happened to Tim's dad is because he was diabetic. All his complications came from diabetes first. So, that pretty much makes me want to be careful what I eat. Um, and, sorry, I'm already tired. We got to bed at like midnight again last night, so, and I got up at 5.30, so, I'm tired. I just need to drink some of this too, but I'll wrap this up real quick. Um. It makes me determined to make sure my story's a little different. I know I'm going to have diabetes for my whole life. I know it's something I'm going to always have to be careful of. Um, and I am grateful for keto because it manages it very well. And sometimes keto is hard, especially when I feel alone. But since I've been um, videoing again... It hasn't been hard for me because I do feel like I have a good support group and I know not everybody who's doing keto is diabetic. It doesn't matter. Just having that camaraderie helps me so much. When I was at the buffet the other day, I was thinking about um, all of you who comment and also video and all do all of the things, you know, in the community, the keto community. So, um, it helped me. Um, I think I ate too much meat yesterday. <laughs> I did not, um, track, and I'm not gonna track the whole time we're here. I am gonna stay keto, but I'm not gonna track. Such a pain in the butt. Ooh, I hope that's okay to say. Um, but that triple triple was amazing. You'd think that would have been like the whole meal, the only meal I needed the whole day. But, um, and also my breakfast was huge. But, um, nope. I needed, um, that gigantic unwitch. I ate that whole thing. It was huge. And apparently my brother in law did double meat. Um, let me briefly talk about the butter pecan rebel and then I'll um, finish and do my walk but um, tastes good um, not quite as good as the mint chip or the peanut butter I think the peanut butter is still my favorite my sister-in-law can't have peanut butter she's allergic to peanuts so we, do, we went with the butter pecan and I think I had a fourth cup. I didn't eat very much at all. Um, for one thing, I was full. But also, we were the only ones having dessert. It made me feel a little weird. And then, um, just I am just not a fan of the sugar-free taste. I talk about this all the time. It's probably obnoxious. Um, but I'm okay with being obnoxious, so I'll just talk about it again. I don't like the flavor of erythritol or stevia or any of those fake sugars. I don't like them. I mean, they help because you can eat things that are um, not traditionally on uh, the diet, but you know what I mean. The aftertaste, 
Ugh, I just don't like it. I think Rebel has um, has a great product, and for what it is, it's it's very good. But um, I just can't eat very much of it, and I think it's because it is a purely keto ice cream, whereas like Enlighten and Halo Top, they're not. They have sugar, so they taste a little better to me, but they're not better for my body. So, for the product, I think it's excellent. But, um, it did have, like, this weird thing where my throat was kind of, um, I don't, I was, I was constantly clearing it. So, I, and I think it was just the ice cream, so I don't know. It was kind of weird. <laughs> did you hear that cow? That's funny. My parents live in the canyon at the... Um, beginning of a trailhead and so the neighborhood all around them is also a little bit on the farmy side anyways I realize that this is now 11 minutes so I'm actually probably going to upload this by itself and not make it part of my uh, daily video maybe because I don't want like a 20 minute video uh, you probably don't either so I'll think about that but I'm going to do my um, walk now and I'm not going to video any of it I don't think because I've already done this a couple of times, so you don't, there's no point. Anyway, so very much appreciate all of the really heartwarming comments that you guys have been leaving for me, the encouragement, the support, the kindness, it just touches my heart. I, thank you. Thank you so much. So I, I really appreciate it. I haven't gone through and, and replied to everybody's comments. I'm sorry. I I will try to get to that later. I think next week will be less hectic. Um, and I'll just have some like downtime at least until the towards the weekend when we start finalizing funeral details and things like that. But it's just been, even when I've had time to like look at Facebook or something, I just haven't felt like replying. Not because I didn't care, because actually a few of them have even made me teary. Um, but you know, like sometimes when you go through something hard, you just kind of, you can only handle so much maybe. I don't know. I hope that makes sense. But I, I so appreciate, so appreciate the comments and the support and the kindness. I'm, I'm just so touched. I'm, I'm just so touched. You guys are really amazing. So thank you. I will see you later.